Greetings humans, welcome back to the Windmill Full of Corpses. I'm Andy and I'm George. And today we'll be having a look at Epica, consigned to oblivion, live at the Zenith. I think this is in Paris. I know this video. Okay, so yeah, then this is a reaction only for me. I don't know the video, I have heard the song. Um, and I actually, okay, full cards on the table, know what the punchline is here, because, well, I was in one, because we've seen Epic Alive. Yeah, there's gonna be... Well, there's gonna be something, and in case you don't know what it's gonna be, you're gonna see it. Yeah, so like, we've seen, we basically haven't seen this video, but we both have seen this firsthand. Yes. So we have an idea of what's gonna happen, but I think it's still gonna be cool. The last one for tonight, but you know we always come back to Paris. Because we love Paris. Last one for tonight, everybody you know the drill. Open up in the middle to create the wall of epic. Before we go, all right? The first hold! 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 Three, two, one, go! I want to go to a show. Say right now. This is. I want to go to a show. Yeah. This is so painful. It 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 kind of reminds you of what it's like being a shows because it's it's a song you know, but you kind of still don't know what's gonna happen because they're doing it like. Well, I don't know it that well. I probably heard it once or twice. Yeah. But um, all that noodling on the drums at the beginning, I'm pretty sure that's not in the studio version. Not a clue. Um. Uh, one more thing I want to comment on is that it's kind of weird to have Simone commanding the wall of death because she's way too elegant for that and you can actually tell because she never ended the phrase. Yeah. She let the big guy take over. <laughs> okay, so let's see how this progresses. Okay, so, so far they're doing their good old alternation of like heavy stuff with Mark's vocals and then the more melodic stuff where the orchestras come forward and Simone, and that's a cool dynamic that they nail all the time. Uh, I don't know how old this song is, I, I know the more recent ones, and I think this is something they kept as a pattern. I'm curious how many more dynamics we're gonna get, because this is a 10 minute song. And Signs to Oblivion is title track from their second album, so it's pretty old. Okay. I don't, I don't know exactly when it came out, but it's... yeah. Okay, let's see what happens.
okay, that's a lot of pyros. Like, I, I, I remember being a show with pyros, and if you're in the front row and that sort of thing's happening, you can feel it burning the hair on your arms. Yeah. And uh, I feel like I have to comment on the keyboardist screaming, and I don't know what. Well, the keyboardist is screaming. And we weren't expecting that, so we're gonna mention it. But I really love the sound of this. It's, I, think, I think Epica sounds a lot bigger live than on the studio. It, it has that really huge feel. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay, so before we get into that, um, I this is an old song, but I'm pretty sure this is fairly new because by the stage setting, I can tell this is uh, holographic principle era. Yeah, I think um, I think so too so because of the banners and those pyramid-like glass thingies they have on stage. Those were holographic principle era, and from what I know, Epica generally end their shows with this song, so it's been a tradition for a while. Yeah. Um, I think it's also the closing song on this show. And I'm not sure. In terms of how live production goes, when you get this sort of big stage with multiple levels and so many dynamics and effects going on, it's bit virtually impossible to make a show that's not engaging. So, yeah, it's it's impressive, and I'm done. Okay, I just gotta say, you can tell that this is an old song. It's it's like, it's... Their newer stuff are so much more compact, there's so much more going on and so many more details stacked together. And this has kind of this more airy feeling to it. And I... I, I remember hearing the original, not the live version, and it's it was kind of more raw sounding and you can feel like they amped it up here. And it's really cool how they translated that into a live setting and made it so imposing because what I remember from hearing older Epica stuff that they never stuck to me specifically because they weren't exactly epic. Yeah, they, so they, they had like the composition that would enable them to be epic, but kind of the sound of the production was kind of drowning that out a little. I yeah, and, and 
this, well, if you make like such a monstrous live performance, that's exactly what you bring to the forefront, is a lot more volume and a lot more power. And something I want to say about Epic is, I don't know, a lot of metalheads probably don't agree with this, but I think this song shows it particularly, is Epic I can actually get pretty damn brutal. Yeah, well, that's, that's no surprise to me, at least, despite the operatic stuff and the prototype that you expected probably wouldn't be that heavy. Epic is probably the heaviest band in the field, or one of them at least. That's so, be one of them. Uh, yeah, and, and I also I also have to shout out the Pyros, that was a really cool Yeah, band. and one more thing that I think I saw, and I don't think they do that a lot, I think actually both guitarists were doing growls. Usually it's just Mark Janssen, but I think on this song, or at least in this recording, I saw both of them. And I think also in a Martyr of the Free World from Retrospect, they were doing that. It was like both guitarists alternating screams, because it was... I don't know that. Yeah, I, I don't know it very well either, but it just kind of flashed in my head. Should I react to that? I no. think you should, but let me know, let us know. Okay, so I, I just gotta point out that right after we said how Epica is one of the most extreme bands in the symphonic metal field, they pretty much went and verified that was that was a really, really death metal section there. And as a contrast to that, I also like how, you know, their themes are a lot spiritual and stuff like that, and their songs are often really heavy, but they're always, from, from, from what live performances I've seen so far, they're always goofballs on stage. And you can see a little bit of that here. I think so, I think especially what you see as a goofball is the keyboard is kind of sliding the yeah. keyboard around the Yay, stage. Yay, look at me! Okay, let's go. I need a breath. See, that's exactly what I was saying. You saw the vocalist alternating. So it was the really fast bit, and then by the time the really fast bit was over, Mark was out of breath and the other guy took it. Uh-huh. I'll take your word for it. I was out of breath too, not just Mark. Yeah, and they actually synchronized the pyros with his pace. Yeah, 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 that I know that out that syllables that I noticed, yeah. Okay, we have just under two minutes left, so I'll try to do all that in one go. Hopefully, I think if we keep going for long Epica songs, we're gonna turn you in an Epica fan with this channel. Good luck!
That was a really impressive vocal phrase there at the end. Just just kept piling up and piling up and piling up and not catching any breath. And it was also moving higher. That was a really cool phrase and a really cool way to end an epic ending to what I suspect was an epic show. This was nice. This was really nice. I like this. I've forgotten how much I like that video. I haven't looked at it in a long time. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Anything you want to add? I think we kind of said it, most of it as it was going. Yes, I'm back. More Epica songs. We need more Epica songs. Well, I gotta think of Epica songs I don't know, because yeah. I actually, the last three albums I heard, like, full. Quantum Enigma, uh, Holographic Principle, and the new one, Omega. But from the older stuff, I don't know them all that well. So. Yeah, I would say if you want to, if you want us to check out more Epica, we, I really like how they do live things. And older stuff, older than Quantum Enigma. That's, that's my jam. Yeah. Okay, for those of you who didn't know this video, let us know if you enjoyed it. And of course, drop your suggestions in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, we'd greatly appreciate the likes and shares. And if you feel like seeing more, don't forget to subscribe with bells on. Thank you very much for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed your stay and we'd love to see you back at the windmill very soon. Course is out.